Today we come together virtually to recognize and celebrate the 100th anniversary of the founding of Phoenix College. It is the late African-American poet laureate Maya Angelou who eloquently stated, if you don't like something, change it. And that's exactly what PC's founders did. They were determined to ensure that all Phoenicians had access to higher education. Their vision for an inclusive education for women, veterans, and minority populations was ahead of its time. Today, Phoenix College proudly embraces its heritage. More than 70% of our students are either the first in their family to attend college or they are from underrepresented and underserved communities. As an Hispanic serving institution, we support students from more than 100 countries who speak more than 50 different languages. We are committed to ensuring that students remain at the core of our mission and vision as we celebrate PC Centennial Year. During the COVID-19 pandemic, our focus on student success was further amplified as classes quickly migrated from a face-to-face -face learning environment to a virtual experience. But I am so proud of our faculty, IT, maintenance and operations, and senior leadership teams who rose to the challenge, thus embodying the true Bear Pride. Over the last year, we have embarked upon new endeavors that will transform our student experience, including Guided Pathways, an initiative that assists students in identifying the field of interest in Bear Tracks, the Phoenix College student onboarding experience. This fall, we are unveiling the Maricopa IT Institute at Phoenix College. The institute, situated in the heart of Phoenix, is uniquely positioned to meet the growing demands for micro-credentials, certifications, and degrees, supporting the expansion of the Valley's tech sector. Thanks to the commitment of dedicated faculty and staff, such as Dr. Robin Carter and Dean Maria Reyes, in the last two years alone, PC has secured $4 million in National Science Foundation grants to go towards undergraduate education and workforce development. The neighborhood college is also expanding and now includes partners in the financial sector. We are proud to offer opportunities for our partners to upskill their workforce. It is my sincere honor and privilege to build upon the legacy of our three founding fathers, B.F. McFall, Daniel Jensen, and Weston W. Carpenter. They knew that education was a valuable gift, essential to improving the socioeconomic status for the most vulnerable Phoenicians. Therefore, it is our responsibility to continue fostering this spirit as employees, students, alumni, lifelong learners, and ambassadors of this dynamic college. Venus College was and proudly remains a student-centered institution committed to fostering a culture of care and equity. Happy Founders Day and know that the best is still yet to come. Hello, I'm Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego, one of many proud Phoenicians who has studied at Phoenix College. I'm so excited to be part of the 100th anniversary. The 99th anniversary was such a great celebration last year, we still have momentum from it. This is a different celebration, not how we thought we'd celebrate the 100 mark, but it does show that Phoenix College is willing to innovate and move forward. Thank you to Chancellor Gonzalez. Thank you to Dr. Johnson for giving us hope and being an important legacy institution in a time when this community needs it. You are going to help us build back stronger. I am particularly excited to celebrate the grand opening of the IT Institute. Technology is a key part of the future of Phoenix. And once again, Phoenix College will help us create that future. With your help, the next century is going to be even better. Congratulations again. One hundred years ago, 18 men and women became the first students to pursue an education at Phoenix Junior College. From the beginning, BC's founders made a firm commitment to educational access. While other institutions of the era were entangled in prejudice, Phoenix College was destined to be a campus where everyone came to learn and launch into greatness. Through several long-range moves and events that would change the course of the world, Phoenix College adapted quickly to meet the changing needs of students, the community, and the nation. When our liberties needed defending, Phoenix College trained civilian pilots and cadet nurses for wartime service. And when our young people returned home, PC provided a refuge for veterans integrating back into civilian life. These young men and women, now adults, petitioned administrators to drop Junior from the name and proudly adopt the title Phoenix College. After the war, 
the Valley of the Sun experienced dramatic economic growth. The little college in the middle of cabbage fields was soon surrounded by a booming metropolis. In the early 1950s, the student body elected its first African-American president, and the college hired the first African-American faculty member. On July 2nd, 1964, the rest of the nation caught up. As the cultural landscape continued to change, I shall resign Phoenix College provided a safe haven for women seeking to enter the workforce. Dr. Myrna Harrison became the first female president of the college in 1989, followed by many more, including the first Hispanic president, Dr. Karina Gardea. And then, the world changed again. At a time when the nation was in a state of chaos and confusion, Phoenix College responded with equity. We continued to reflect, educate, and serve our community. For 100 years, through economic depressions, wars, groundbreaking legislation, and earth-shattering events, Phoenix College has found new ways to learn, understand, and educate. Phoenix College has always reflected the best of who we are and what we can be. We continue to lean into the promise to welcome change, to create equity, and to model the way for our community, our country, and our world. Phoenix College turns 100 years old. Over the past century, nearly one million students have passed through our doors and are making their mark on the world as state and national leaders, corporate CEOs, artists, and entrepreneurs. We remain committed to the Founders' vision of equity, diversity, and access, which is why we're leading the way in university transfer, workforce education, and social justice programming. This Founders' Day, Make a donation to the My Future Scholarship. Let's keep the tradition of equity and education alive together. Phoenix College, go far close to home. Students should be educated in and for democracy. They should recognize the ethical principles of democracy, the brotherhood of man, and the dignity and worth of the individual. Students should be capable of individual thinking. They should be willing to consider different ideas, to study all sides of a question, to develop habits of critical thinking, and to fight bigotry and superstition. They should be conscious of group and social responsibility. Yet understand that in our democratic way of life, they are free to attain self-realization only so long as this is consonant with the collective good. They should consider the obligations and duties of citizenship and not just the liberties and privileges of citizenship. They should be helped to recognize and to accept and fulfill their responsibilities in the world of which they are a part. National and international problems should be accepted by the students as their problems as well as their responsibility. Students should be given specialized training based upon a broad educational foundation with much stress on scholarship. They should be given opportunity to explore a number of different areas, especially if they have not decided on a definite course of study. The benefits of college life should accrue to those who do not complete a degree-granting program as well as to those who do. They should be helped to understand themselves and to plan their life work in terms of that understanding. To live fully, to enjoy themselves, and the association with others, to derive great happiness and satisfaction from their vocational and avocational life, to make worthwhile use of leisure time as well as fragments of time, to entertain themselves without constant external stimulation, to adjust to changing times, 
to become their own best selves. During their college life, students should be encouraged to contribute and to achieve to their fullest capacity. The administration and faculty of the college should be alert to every possibility of having all students participate individually and collectively in acquiring these understandings and attitudes. Students should learn to fit into the ultimate social and vocational environment and to help themselves as members of society.